Good morning, Landel, and all the lands between. I'm Zayo, and as usual, I'm the host for today's morning news. We'll start the day with some news regarding an escaped orangutan before moving to the results of the election. And while a lot of you may find the election boring, I recommend you stay tuned for the main segment of the day where we interview a living legend. Without further ado, let's get right into today's news. This morning, an orangutan fled from the capital of Lainville. We have an interview with one of the witnesses of the incident who was affected by it. Now, over to you, Bolivar. We are now here, live at the place of the incident with a witness. So, Mr. Merchant, how did this whole incident play out? Well, it started with a strange noise that came from, from the gates of the capital. Naturally, I went to see what, what had happened. But when I arrived, I was met by an orangutan on the flea with a, from the capital with a large stick in his hand. Before I, knew, before I knew it, he was charging right at me. I didn't even have time to register what had happened. I was out cold. I see. Do you know what you wanted? It all happened so fast. When I woke up, the monkey was nowhere to be seen. I heard he stole some of your possessions as well. Does it seem like it'll have uh, much of an effect on you and your business? Well, the monkey only stole some mangoes. I was having, I was saving for later. Apart from that, I think it may affect my business in a positive way. I've been getting more media attention since the incident, which helps the business a lot. How have you been doing since the incident? This barbaric experience must have taken a toll on your health. I have a minor concussion now, but I, I must say it, it was a surprisingly traumatic experience as well. It will take lots of boiled prawns to ease my mental and physical pain. How? Oh, uh, it sounds like a really rough experience. We hope you feel better soon, and we thank you for taking the time to talk to us despite your current state. With that, we'll go back to you, Seo. Thank you, Bolivar, and I hope everything works out for you, Mr. Merchant. Now, as I'm sure many of you already know, the election results came in yesterday, and Ulvar the Bloated was elected as Supreme Leader, breaking records as he is the first Supreme Leader to sit five periods, the previous record being four periods held by his great-grandfather, Ulvan the Enlarged. We've managed to land a one-on-one -on -one interview with Ulvar, so I will now send you down to my good friend Alvar, who is with Ulvar right now, to ask some questions about the election. Thank you, Seo. So, Mr. Blotted, how does it feel to be the supreme leader once again? This feeling is not entirely unfamiliar to me. As of now, now I have been elected by my people as the supreme leader five times now. I stand proud of my heritage, as this is the 31st time a member of the grotesque family lineage has been elected as a supreme leader. If you don't mind me asking, how do you plan to change uh, the lands between with your new idea you have uh, spoken so highly about? As thou can see from my attire, I have inherited the power of my family. This spectacular piece of fashion is sued with the skin of my kin, so with the spirit of my family always beside me. This does not answer my question, Mr. Blotted. Are you v avoiding my question? S silence, peasant. Dost thou know not know my political power? <laughs> I shall have thee executed and your bloodline cursed for all eternity if you don't stop this abhorrent behavior at this instant. I swear oh. uh, That was all from Mr. Blotter today. I apologize for the interview being cut short due to these unfortunate circumstances. With that said, back to you, Seo. Well, that was problematic. Luckily, I've just received word that our next segment is ready early, so I'll send you right down to- Hmm? Yes? Really? O okay. We have 
just been informed that a huge meteor has crashed down in the middle of the mist woods. Luckily, most of the victims of this horrible happenstance have survived, and we have not had any reports of casualties. I'll now send you down to our reporter Magan, who is on site with the survivor. I'm standing about X meters away from the crater left by the meteor, with a victim that lost his house. So, Mr. Lasson, how would you describe the scene? It was a very traumatic experience. I do not wish to speak on the matter right now. I almost died 10 minutes ago. Now leave me be. I must now consume loads of alcohol to cope. Well, he wasn't much of help. Oh, here is our meteorologist. He's here to tell us about the meteor. What we have here is a very, is a rare case. Never before have we seen such a huge meteor. We believe that this was caused by the demigod Radon's death. General Radon seems to have been holding back the star with its gravitational powers, but now that he has perished in battle, his powers cease to exist in the meteor along with hundreds of other smaller stars came crashing down. Cut! Thank you, Magan. Now for today's main segment. Today, the man, the myth, the legend, Mr. Her, full name, let me solo her, has come back for another round. He has been on a mission to kill every demigod and rune bearer of this world. All he has to kill now is the infamous Melania, Blade of Mikola, the same one who went head to head against the demigod Radon in the Great War. Today, history will be made, the first person to fight her in over two decades, and possibly the first person to beat her ever. Now, on to you, Bartolomeo. Here I am with the man, the myth, the orangutan lover, Mr. Her. So, let me solve her. Why did you decide to embark on this journey? Well, I had to rescue my monkey man, the orangutan, of course. When he is in danger, I am always there to save him. To do that, I had to get stronger. It seems that you are very fond of this monkey man. Why is that? When I had heard of a monkey trapped in the capital, I decided to free him and slay anyone who dared to get in my way. About halfway through, I almost died in a fight against some unmovable force. It was then that I realized that I had to get stronger. Is one monkey worth it all? You killed some of the strongest foes of the world to save a monkey. Yes! Would you elaborate, please? I believe that all life is equal. No one should have their freedom taken away from them. Okay, that is very interesting of you to say when you killed so many people to save that singular monkey. But those demigods and rumors were evil and monkeys superior. I'm going to no cap, my G. I see. If you don't mind me asking, how does a mere carnage go about gaining the power to beat such powerful beings? I went through a really tough training montage and listened to lots of hard side and shit. So sadly a lot of birds had to die for this to work. I'm now a professional archer as well because of that. And did you use your new skills you learned from this so-called montage you were explaining to me about? Absolutely not! When I came into the boss room, I forgot everything I'd learned on this epic journey. All I did was bunker with my sword, like with every other boss I'd fought so far. And she soon went down without any resistance. So I wouldn't say that it was a waste of time on this journey, because I had acquired a really cool pot to put on my head to make myself more mysterious. Now I can't even leave the house without putting it on. That is mostly because I don't want to get recognized when everyone knows me only for my skills and not for my personality anymore. <laughs> Unfortunately, we are out of time, so we will go back to the studio. Over to you, Seo. Thank you for that, Bartholomew. And what an interesting take on equality from Mr. Her. Now for today's weather. Today's weather is looking pretty tame, nothing out of the ordinary. We can expect cold temperatures in the Forbidden Lands with a 100% chance of snow. 
That includes the mountains and the snowfield. There's a 40% chance of rain in Lunar today, and it's estimated to be around 18 degrees. Limgriff will be a little warmer, about 21, and partly cloudy. Cayley is looking slightly less polluted today, but still extremely warm with a high of 34.5 and a low of 34. And last but not least, the capital will see sunny clear skies and a temperature of 22 to 25 all day. Thank you, Alex. That's it for the morning news, and I thank you for joining us today. I also welcome you back to today's regularly scheduled evening news at 7.30 p.m. Elden Standard Time. And they just go. Oh. Today's weather is looking pretty tame. Nothing out of the ordinary. Fuck. What? Or um, nom nom. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Little distance, please. I meant. Um, nom nom. Just... Thank you, Morgan. Now for today, I mean. <laughs> I am standing about X meters away from the crater left by the meteor with a victim that lost his house. So, Mr. Less Home, how would you describe the scene? Can all our chefs don't say, oh, please. Thank you, Alex. That's it for the morning news, and I thank you for joining us today. I also welcome you back to today's regularly scheduled evening news at 7.30 p.m. That is 7.30 p.m. EST. I went for a really tough train montage, and... Tash. Tosh. Absolutely not. When I came into the boss room, I forgot everything I had learned on this epic journey. All I did was bunker with my sword like what every other boss I had fought so far. And she soon went down without any resistance. So I wouldn't say that it was a waste of time on this journey because I had acquired a really good put. Put? Put? Well, how do you put?